Hi everybody, I'm here in San Jose and I'm with one of my most special friends. This is Jennifer Loving from Destination Home and we're standing in front of a memorial, a memorial for the homeless people that have died in this county. Uh, it's gotten a little bit of news media recently that... Well, we had um, five people die in one week. And, you know, in California, when the weather... That was a lot at one time. And, and there's an organization here called EHC, and every year they hold a memorial for people who died. And so this year, um, we all came together to celebrate 48, uh, mostly men, but people who died this year in the streets. Uh, the, the ages this kind of messed me up was 80 to 19. Yeah. Well, and that's just it, right? You can't live outside. You can't live outside for long periods of time. If you do, it's going to kill you. And, and that's where I feel like um, not only today, but every day, we have an obligation to, to do better than we're doing. And not just in San Jose, not just in the Silicon Valley, but around the country. Right. Right. Um, because all these deaths, I had two friends, Rosie, and um, my, one of my dearest friends, uh, Catherine, who died this past year. And uh, it could have been avoidable. I mean, none of these deaths should have happened. No. Now, uh, most of the time, people are dying from things that, that are treatable, right? They don't go to the doctor for too long. No one's paying attention. They get sick. They get an infection. They lose a leg. And then, you know, I mean, it just compounds itself. Living outside, you compound simple things into really complex things. People die from the flu. So, um... Whenever I get somber and sad, but then I get pissed. Yeah, I really get. I'm pissed, pissed every day. <laughs> so pissed we don't mean to be laughing at, at, at this, but you know, um, you need to get mad. You need to get pissed off because there are solutions. Can you talk about? what you're doing, sure. destination homes, and what you're seeing working. Sure. So here in um, Santa Clara County, we have what's called Housing a Thousand. It's our cam campaign to house a thousand of the most vulnerable long-term homeless folks. And we've housed about half of that number so far. And we're using permanent supportive housing. It's just permanent housing. Get people into housing. <laughs> Keep them in housing. People get better over time. We don't have any more homelessness. I mean, it's very simple. And so for us here, we have the number one most expensive rental market. We have a very tight vacancy rate. We don't have a lot of access to actual units. And so that's that our process would be faster if we had housing. That's all it is. And it's actually often cheaper to house people than to leave them outside because they don't go to the emergency room 200 times in a year right. Right. or jail four times or whatever those costs are that are so expensive. The, the last report that I know of uh, was per year, per person, in Seattle, it's $89,000 a year to keep them out on the streets, per year, per person, and $14,000 for permanent supportive housing yeah. per year, per person. Yeah. That's a huge savings, and that ratio uh, is pretty common in all communities. It is. Um, I, every community is going to have a different uh, supportive housing cost because of the housing expenses. Yeah. But but I haven't seen a community that has said for this subsection of homelessness it's actually cheaper to do nothing. Right. And we think leaving the guy under the bridge is doing something. It's right. doing nothing and right. it's actually costing us money while we're being right. stupid. Right. So that's where we get right. right. And that's why we're doing something about it. So, and for me, you know, we're standing out in front of a shelter. A shelter that I like. It's a good shelter and great people here. And they're For working sure. with the system. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're because because it's not housing first or shelters. It's a community working together. Mm -hmm. You know, faith-based business, nonprofits, government working together to create a system for a common goal, which is saving lives and saving taxpayer yeah. money. Uh, it's it's the right thing to do, but it's also the most effective solution. Right. Yeah. And, and we shouldn't keep acting like it's a big mystery. Right. How many people have to die before we go? Right. right. We can do better than this as a community. So this week, all over the country, there's memorials. Some are big, some are small. Um, if you're watching this or reading this article, um, I ask you to take a moment of silence yourself and uh, let's honor those that passed out on the streets. And when that moment is over, let's get angry mm -hmm. and, and do something about it. And not just at Christmas, yeah. not just at the holidays. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.